Hey, how's it going everybody? My name's Tony and I want to help you learn how to design t-shirts and other things even if you have zero design experience. Today I want to try out the new Silhouette Go app. It just came out of beta and it's on the App Store for iPhones and I believe it's also in the Google Play Store for Android. And the whole idea of it is that you should be able to take your device, whether it's a phone or a tablet, get your SVG files, send them over Bluetooth to your cutter, and skip the whole step of needing to have a computer. I know you can design vectors on your phone with different apps. I haven't really gotten too deep into the Silhouette Go app to see what that can do. I don't design in the Silhouette software at all. I think Illustrator, Affinity Designer, and Inkscape are far superior to anything that the Silhouette and Cricut softwares have to offer. So I really don't know. I have no intentions on finding out if you could design in it. I've tried some of the vector apps that are available for the phone and some of them are really powerful but for me the phone screen is just too small to design on and the menus take up too much real estate when you pull things up and it's just not really feasible for me in the way I design. I know some people have great success designing on the phones but it's just not for me. So my plan is to take my tablet, design something in Affinity Designer and then import that into the Silhouette Go software. I'm not super proficient at the Affinity software yet. I'm still pretty new to using it. I use Illustrator for the desktop as my main thing and I've done that for the past couple of decades. There's Illustrator for iOS and iPads. It's not a one-to-one -one with the desktop version and there's a lot of things about it that are cool. There's a lot of things about it that don't quite make sense to me. I feel Affinity Designer for iPad is a much deeper piece of software for designing than Illustrator for iPad is. Now, I may dig deeper into both of them and find out that I like one better than the other. Maybe Illustrator is better. I'm not sure. But for now, I'm going to jump into Affinity, design something real quick. I'm not real familiar with where the tools are and I don't have a workflow that's reliable, but I know enough basic things that I should be able to put together a simple design. Hopefully with practice, I will be able to get my skills in Affinity to where they are with Adobe Illustrator. For now, we're gonna design one thing on the iPad, cut it, weed it, print it, and then we'll take a pre-made design, download it from Dropbox onto my iPhone, cut, weed, and print that design and we'll see if this thing is a game changer or just another piece of software that we're gonna try once and never try again. I didn't realize until I was part way through the design that it wasn't recording the screen so we're jumping in here part way through. I just decided to do a simple text on a path on the top and straight text on the bottom. You'll notice it takes me a couple of times to get the text right. I'm not sure if I accidentally touched something while I was setting everything up. That's just part of learning a new piece of software on a different device and working in a different way. I figured in the end it was better to just trash what I had done and start over on the text on the path because I really wasn't sure what I'd done wrong and I really didn't want to spend a lot of time troubleshooting it. It was easier to just start from scratch since I was at the very beginning of the design and really more than anything wanted to get it completed and sent to the cutter. I really like the type controls in Affinity Designer. It's a little slower trying to do everything with a stylus or with your finger compared to just being able to use the keyboard to do everything with shortcuts. But for a mobile experience it was really good and I really did like the level of control that they give you. Once I finalized my design I was able to save it as an SVG file. I'm not quite sure what all of the settings are on the SVG. It's something that I'm going to need to study, but it was good enough to bring it into the Silhouette Go app and cut it. When I brought it in, I wasn't sure what size I had made the design, so I told it that I was using the cutting mat so I could see the measurements in inches and just kind of eyeball where I want it to be. After adjusting the size, I was ready to send it to the cutter for cutting. I checked all of the settings to make sure I was using the right material, the right force, the right speed. Used the Bluetooth to find my cutter and then just sent it right in to cut. Everything went according to plan. The cutter got the signal and started cutting my vinyl and now I just needed to sit and wait for it to finish cutting. While I was prepping everything, I heated up my heat press so that the bottom platen could get warm and I could do my weeding on that. 
Weeding on a warm surface makes the heat transfer vinyl come off of the backing a little bit easier. And with the way the temperatures have been lately and the fact that I'm working in the basement, which is a cold environment, it definitely helps to have the heated surface. You'll notice that I did my press halfway through weeding. I took the print out before I put the press down and that was just to heat up the platen. Again, I know it doesn't look like it on the video, but I'm definitely not pressing heat transfer vinyl directly onto the heating platen of my press. Once I have everything weeded, I pre-press the shirt to get any moisture out, and then I just try to line up the print by hand. Sometimes I pick up the shirt to see how it looks. I used to use a T-square it, but I found that sometimes the shirt would be crooked on the heat press, and even though that was square to the heat press, I would still end up with a crooked print. Most of the time eyeballing it is good enough. I have a design that I modified for a custom order that needs to go out today. So I did that in the computer, saved it to Dropbox. And now I'm gonna open it up in the Silhouette Go app and send it to my cutter and see how that works. It was easy to go into the Silhouette Go software on my phone click add and grab the SVG file that I saved from Dropbox onto my device. The only thing is when I brought in the art, it was a different size than what I saved it in in Adobe Illustrator. And again, that's probably just a setting that I missed in the SVG file when I was saving it, but it's something I'm gonna need to figure out in the future because I had to cut this one twice. The first time I sent it to the cutter, I think I made it a little bit too big and it cut too close to the edge. So I had to redo it, recut it, and start weeding it out again because it didn't weed right the first time. But it worked like perfectly and it worked seamlessly. And I'm definitely a fan of convenience and this was super duper convenient. Once I had everything weeded, I was able to just throw it right on the heat press like always, print it up and be done with the job. All in all, I think this is really cool and something that I definitely am gonna be using a lot in the future. We made this shirt from scratch. We designed it in Affinity, sent it to the cutter with the Silhouette app, weeded it, printed it. Other than the fact that I'm not super proficient in Affinity Designer, I really enjoyed the process. I'm gonna be using Affinity nightly now just so I can really learn the ins and outs of it. A lot of things, I wasn't sure where they were at or how certain tools worked in comparison to how they work in Illustrator, but I was able to find my way to do what I wanted to do. Ultimately, I kind of kept the design simple, didn't do too much. My screen recording was tripping out a little bit while I was recording in Affinity, so I didn't get the full process, just kind of the tail end. But um, yeah, it's definitely really cool and a great way to work but I really need to have a reliable workflow. Right now it's taking me three to four times longer to do a design in Affinity Designer than it does in Illustrator. And with the repetition, that will get faster. I need to know exactly what I'm gonna do before I do it and which tool comes next. And that's just gonna come with practice. But I really do think this is gonna be a great way to get me untethered from my desk and able to work in any room in the house or on the go, or if we go on a trip or anything like that, I know that I could work reliably. The thing with the phone, I really like that I can just grab my phone, download a file that I have ready to go and cut it, but there's no way that I'll ever be able to deal with things like kerning or dealing with spatial relationships or to do the things that you really need to see up close while you're working on the design to make them work just so when you make all those fine little tweaks. But I was able to take this design that was pre-made, seamlessly cut it, weed it, and print it, the same as I did with the design that I made in Affinity Designer. If you're working with the Cameo and you wanna be able to just get up and go design things while you're out, come home, cut them without having to sit down at the computer, boot up the Silhouette software and all that stuff, this is awesome. I highly recommend it. Like I said, I think I'm gonna incorporate this into my workflow from now on figure out the best ways to do things. Maybe I'll have designs ready to go that I could just customize real quick on my iPad and then bring them to my cutter and go. 
And I think the way mobile technology is moving, this is a real exciting time to be a designer and to be running your own thing from home because there's just so many new things coming up every day and ways to make your life better as a designer and as a small business owner making your own t-shirts and all that stuff so I definitely highly recommend it I have a Facebook group linked in the description of this video please feel free to join ask me any questions let me know what you've learned about using the silhouette go software ask me any questions that you may have about designing or selling t-shirts maybe I could help you I would love to help if I can I love to help people learn how to design and Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.